hello everyone god bless you all in jesus mighty name so today i'm supposed to go live and release this word about the supernatural coming in september um as we already know the month of september has been declared the month of supernatural settlement but the lord places upon my spirit to make this month really supernatural with regards to the prophetic words the teachings and all of the ministration because he wants us to gain understanding of how the supernatural works and how we can unlock the supernatural um, the Lord doesn't just want us to be ignorant of um, the the truth in his word and, and how we can begin to unravel and begin to um, just really come to seeing what he's promised us through understanding because understanding makes a whole difference. So I wanted to come live and just release that, but since I'm not able to do to do the live because of the network that is disturbing us, so I just want to just very quickly uh, release this very short clip because I can't even make it a long clip of like 30 minutes because the upload would take forever because of my bad network I have right now. So Father in Jesus' mighty name, help me Lord to release this word even in this minute, Lord, the way that you want them to hear in Jesus' mighty holy name. Take all the glory, take all the honor and the adoration forever in Jesus' name, Amen. So, um, like I said, the Lord placed it upon my upon my mind to um, release this um, word about the supernatural and just giving you all understanding through the teachings that I'll be bringing to you all um, based on the supernatural and how to unlock the supernatural. So, um, again, I want to just give us like a base foundation. Um, God is doing something really, really supernatural in this month of September. He has placed it upon my mind um for the for the past couple of months i think maybe since like april or june um sorry april may yeah, something like that that um starting from september downwards october november and december is going to be intensely supernatural which means you you are going to be seeing things that you've not seen before you're going to you're going to be hearing things that you've never heard of before you're just going to come to encountering god in a way that you never have before there and then you and then there will be there, there will be some people that will that will have angelic visitations like things are going to begin to happen like in like in in a very 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 like speedy instant um, all excuse me all by the hand of god like you're going to be seeing more things like that are going to be happening like miracles taking place um that you know seeing seeing yourself even operating in the supernatural experiencing the supernatural but then also commanding the supernatural as well the lord is going to be releasing um supernatural wealth to his people as well but he wants us to have an understanding of the word supernatural and how that you know um the supernatural um you know manifest okay through understanding mainly you know of of his word um and i i want us to know that i mean the first thing um that is required of us to to um to, to really begin to walk in the supernatural or experience or manifest the supernatural, whether it's in your health, you want to see, you know, God's God's power, God's hand, or in your finance or in your marriage or whatever area of your life is, God is able to bring the supernatural upon you, but understanding is key. So, so the first thing I want to really talk about is having the have, having the understanding that your salvation, uh, you know, um, from your worldly self and just being delivered and, and saved first of all by the Holy Spirit was supernatural. So you are a supernatural child, right? You've been born by the Spirit of God. You are no longer natural. So God wants us to have that understanding first uh, before anything else uh, because that is the foundation that you begin to build upon because if you don't have that understanding, so I mean we all know that we need to be born again before we can experience all of the supernatural blessings of the Lord but then having been born again you need to have that understanding and, and just um, really just having that consciousness that and, you know, I have been, you know, saved by God and I've been born, I've been reborn by God and, and God is spirit and uh, I'm a spirit. OK, so that's that's the foundation we need to lay afresh even now and not, you know, because when we lay that foundation afresh that, that we are supernatural, we ourselves are supernatural because we were, you know, born of uh so yeah, born of uh, uh, born of God, then that, that would that would help us to just 
you know, get ready to really receive something supernatural. That will, that will help our faith to come up as well. And I'm going to be speaking more about faith in, in other videos because it's so important for us to have this foundation laid so that the enemy is not able to come in and then sowing seeds of doubt and make you feel like you are not qualified or like you don't deserve or like, you, you know, so on and so forth. I mean, it's all by grace, right? Um, so God wants us to have that understanding that he gave it to us. He's God. And he is almighty and, and, and he's in charge and all of that. And, and, and uh, he is divine, right? The supernatural is, we just saying, divine, okay? It's, it's a different way for us to put it, right? So God is supernatural. God is divine. And he gave birth to you and I. So we need to have the understanding that, yes, I am supernatural because God gave birth to me. I'm no longer natural, right? You may have some natural parts because you're still here wearing flesh, but understand that you are mainly supernatural because you've been saved by Christ, right? Um, through uh, your, your faith in uh, Christ by grace, right? So, um, and then God wants us to understand as well, um, the other thing um, that once we have that understanding that we are entitled to experience the supernatural. So you understand that you've been saved um, by 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 uh, by Christ and uh, God, you know, gave that to you now, right? You're born of the Spirit now. So you are now entitled to begin to experience the, the supernatural. But even though we are entitled to experience the supernatural, uh, many of us are not able to unlock it or really experience it um, until we begin to apply some um, biblical principles to ourselves. And this is very, very important. And I'm going to be talking more about that all throughout September. And um, I wanted to just lay this foundation very quickly um, just to help us have the understanding that we need to have for now in order for us to begin to walk in the supernatural, experience the supernatural, and then manifest the supernatural as well. Praise the Lord. Um, you know, our scripture says uh, uh, that, that, that the world is waiting, is waiting for the sons of God to uh, to manifest, right? And uh, God wants us to come up uh, higher from just being in that natural state of just, you know, um, doing things in your own flesh. God wants you to believe him for for bigger things, bigger transformation of your life and, and all of that, right? He wants to do more in you and through you. And, he, and really, he's, he's just saying he wants to bring in the supernatural to begin to occur, you know, and uh, from, and, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, manifest in your life. So he wants us to have the understanding because understanding makes the difference. I pray this uh, first, first introduction to the supernatural has been helpful. And I was going left and right and center, but I pray it has helped somebody. So please have an understanding. Um, you are a supernatural child because God gave birth to you. You have been reborn, so God gave birth to you. Um, and now you also that you have the understanding that uh, you are entitled to begin to experience the supernatural. But there are all that things that we need to apply and uh, do in our daily lives to begin to experience the supernatural power of God or the supernatural hand of God. God bless you. If you're new, please subscribe to me, New Mongol Food Church. I love you all so much. I am Glenn Osemek here and I'm the overseer of New Mongol Food Church. And the mandate upon my life is to release the word of healing, word of hope first, healing and then restoration. I will see you all tomorrow by the grace of God. If not live, then I'll record again and upload it. Everyone that is uh, interested in the books of the ministry, all the links are going to be in the bar below. Uh, books on uh, daily devotional, marriage, and uh, a prayer guide as well. It's all going to be down there. All those that are tied into the ministry, giving and sowing into this church, uh, every link to do so is going to be down there below. And God bless you all. I'll see you all soon. Shalom.